All right, well, some more weather coming our way. Let's go to the weather maps. Sierra Wave Media forecaster Dennis Mattinson noting that some weaker impulses than we've had will be moving through on Thursday. Much lighter precipitation for Friday. Mattinson says indications are for a small break in the storm action as a weak ridge will develop along the west coast. If the center of that ridge develops a bit farther north, then this might allow a weak low to undercut that ridge later Friday into Saturday for some more precipitation low tonight into tomorrow morning for mammoth will peg it at about 12 degrees fish up and the owens valley 22 degrees for mammoth june mono county on thursday all right partly cloudy skies with some light wind 29 just the high in mammoth low of about nine degrees mostly sunny skies on friday with some light wind 30 the expected high with a low of about 17 degrees and we'll be optimistic and put in about an 80 percent chance of some snow on saturday winds kicking up out of the southwest anywhere from 15 to 25 Five miles an hour, 28 the high in Mammoth, low of about 9 degrees. For Bishop and the Owens Valley, forecast for Thursday, partly cloudy skies, northwest winds, maybe 5 to 10 miles an hour, 41 the high in Bishop, low of about 17 degrees. Friday, what a lovely winter day, sunny skies, some light wind, 45 the high in Bishop, low of about 22 degrees. And Saturday for the Owens Valley, looks like for the most part, mostly cloudy conditions, east winds, 5 to 10 miles an hour, 47 the expected high in Bishop with a low of about 17 degrees. So again, we've uh, had some nice precipitation and looks like we're still going to be getting some more uh, possible this weekend, especially in the high country. Uh, we're going to check out a piece here of Mammoth Mountain, one of the great chairlifts in North America, Chair 23. Chair 23 is uh, 1,121 feet long, if you, you know, pick from bottom to top. It's got 114 carriers on it. It runs about a five minute and 45 second nonstop ride. Well, this lift came, out, came to us in 1982, and people that have skied here always talk about Chair 23, and they take away memories all the time. And it may be that powder day, or maybe that pristine, velvet, wind-blown surface, but people talk about 23 more than any other lift on our mountain. In the design of Chair 23, which all started on a napkin, by the way, at the dinner table, and that was typical, typical yawn. You know, you would start on a napkin and start drawing out some pieces, and that's where so many of the ideas on Mammoth came from. And he'd bring, you know, he'd bring the napkin over to Dave, and well, what if we do it like this? And so, of course, that would get refined down to engineering documents, but Chair 23 did start on a napkin. I think the biggest unique piece of Chair 23 is that it was built in an avalanche path and it's a successful lift. It hasn't been taken down, it was designed carefully, it was put in the, in the right place. But the whole lift, uh, excluding the top, raises at the bottom so that, you know, during storms, when something was to occur naturally or man-made, that an avalanche could pass underneath it and then we could groom it out and lower down the lift and have loading so that uh, people on Saturdays could come and have a great ski day, even though there was a big avalanche perhaps the day before. What do you love about Chair 23? Gets you up to the corners quickly, up to the best snow, and uh, gets your day going right. I like this location. You can go left to corners, you can go right to Scotty's. It's quick access to some of the best runs in Mammoth. And on a day like this, when the snow is still soft, it's not too slushy, and it's not frozen over, it's probably one of the best lifts to hit on the mountain. What I love about Chair 23 is it gives you plenty of options, plenty of steeps, plenty of fun things to get into. Gives you groomers, gives you a uh, great snow on a, on a fresh powder day. It's a very thrilling ride up. You go into the uh, the gooseneck uh, top station there and go out one side or the other if you're going to go to wipe out or drop out. And then you stand up on the ridge there and you're looking off to the west and off to the east and you know it's more like Europe than Europe. All right, lots of tracks to be had coming off Chair 23 uh, for the rest of the ski season at Mammoth Mountain. That's going to wrap up news and information for us here on Sierra Wave TV3. You know we're part of Sierra Wave Media. You can hear our radio station, the new Alt 92.5 Sierra Wave Radio, streaming on our website, sierrawave.net. Have a great evening, everybody. Good night.